thank everyone who uh, helped with this memorial. There were many, many people that donated, and many of them aren't here, and we're going to send them lots of nice photos. And uh, I've, I've told people I, I've um, done, you know, spent quite a bit of time in kill phase, and a couple of years ago I was kept coming out after bows and looking at this little teeny Dakota we had, and we didn't have Sansonine's name carved on it, nothing. And I said, God, it's been eight years, we've got to do something. And so um, I felt very strong that, that something had to be created. And uh, so I took that on as far as uh, fundraising. And uh, Mark's going to speak a little bit about how we met. And, and Mark uh, Mendel is the person who um, is the mason, who's the artist that, that created the whole concept of this and actually had got the stones many years ago and saved them for something. <laughs> and um, Karen Sprague is, is, the, uh, is the engraver, the carver, the stone carver that, that when you see this, you'll see one of the, yeah, she has people, they're going to unveil it now, <laughs> and Mark will talk about it after, so don't hold your judgment. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan. Ethan is uh, on the team of uh, hardworking and brilliant young men who helped me build this thing. And uh, it goes four feet in the ground. There's, there's a lot of work here. Um, and we, they worked incredibly hard. Um, the Sons and came to New England. And one of the things I've always loved about New England is the old well covers. And they used to drag a, find a flat stone and drag it over the well and cut a hole in it so they weren't always standing in the mud when they were drawing the water. I ran into this stone about 15 years at least ago in Maine, and I'd never seen one so spectacular, so big and so spectacular. And there was something about the surface of the stone I found very uh, compelling. Um, Shinryo Suzuki who you know founded uh, the San Francisco Zen Center in Kasahara and you know his work, his books. He loved stone and he said, he said, uh, some stones are alive and some stones are dead. And I've been working with stone since 1969, so I know what he's talking about. This stone is live. <laughs> so um, I bought it from a guy in Maine. I pulled over, my kids were in the car, we were on vacation, and I said, I'm going to buy this stone. And, he said, yeah, he told me how much it was, and, and he said, uh, are you going to take it home on top of your ball boat? <laughs> <laughs> People wanted to buy this stone over the years and the stone behind, and there was something about these two stones. I didn't want to sell them. I, I put high prices on them, and I kind of just said, oh, I don't want to sell them. I didn't know why I didn't want to sell them, but um, I... I know now, right, in plus. <laughs> um, there's something nice about the stone where for 200 years a family was drawing water through the stone to quench their thirst. And we know that um, in the culture we live in, there's another thirst, you know. And uh, what Buddhism has to offer is 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 what will quench that thirst. I think. Second about, I was hoping you'd say something, and you haven't said it yet. So he <laughs> yeah. and I were quite kind of fighting about the glass because I didn't really want the glass. And when you see this thing when the sun is out in the morning, the dapple of light comes through the trees. This this thing, you know. Well, now, right now, around 7 or whenever the sun's coming up, you know, this thing is going like this, up and down. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
And then when the western sky, there's not a dapper light going through the trees. It just like it's just moving. It's a very kinetic. Besides the the color and the analysis, it's a very kinetic experience at all different times of the day. So I hope you. Number one, this brings people to Kilche. <laughs> That's what we want. That's what, so uh, come to Kilche and see this thing. You know, 24 hours. Even at night, it glows. That the lettering glows at night. Yeah, well, moonlight and sunlight. The nice thing is that every day of the year, the light's going to hit this in a different way. Mm -hmm. And you'll have the fall light and the uh, spring light and the winter light, which is quite clear, and the, the night with the snow on the ground mm -hmm. with the moon's out, you know, which we have in New England, which is quite cool. With a full moon on the snow, is pretty great. And this thing will light up. And Oh, oh, oh. 